Welcome, mathematicians. Today, we're going to read a story called Inchworm and a Half by Eleanor J. Pingsies and illustrated by Randall Enos. Our story today has to do with measuring. The inchworm who lives in the garden can climb any surface with ease. She nibbles and measures all her treasures, zucchini, eggplants, and snow peas. Her measuring method is simple. Each loop that she takes is one inch. She starts at one end, and results will depend on the number of loops. That's a cinch. Squirmy, wormy, hoppity hoop. I measure everything, loopity loop. Two inch hot peppers and three inch pole beans and even the tiniest one inch new greens. One day the unthinkable happens. My measurement's off just a bit. Only two, nearly three. How could this be? There's no way I can possibly fit. What's nearly three? asked a short worm who suddenly dropped from midair. Well, said the worm, starting to squirm, two inches and that fraction there. Fractions, the inchworm continued, are equal parts of a whole number. It spoils my fun if a length can't be done like the end of that problem cucumber. The little worm grinned. I'm a fraction. That length should be easy for me. He said, sounding wise, at just half your size, I'm a one half inch fraction, you see. They happily measured all morning while fuzzy green leaves made them laugh. The inchworm said one and her part was done. Then the little worm looped and a half. Squirmy, wormy, hoppity hoop. We measure everything loopity loop. Seven inch celery, eight inch corn ears, and four and a half inch asparagus spears. For every loop made by the inchworm, the shorter worm had to make two. Then something went wrong as they inched along, a measurement they couldn't do. They carefully studied the problem. This fraction is smaller than me, said the half size in total surprise. What length could it possibly be? And another worm looped to their rescue. It looks like you're in a tight spot. I'll give that a try. I'm little and spry and my length's one third inch on the dot. The trio looped on into noonday, quite pleased. No new problems occurred. The inchworm yelled two, that's all I can do. Then the shortest worm called and a third. Squirmy, wormy, hoppity hoop. We measure everything loopity loop. Eight inch leaf lettuce, nine inch cabbage head, and some one and one third ripe berries, so red. To equal one loop by the inchworm, the second worm had to loop twice. For accuracy, the third worm looped three. I'm a one-third inch fraction, how nice. Snacking on rich ripe tomatoes, they decided to measure a few. But just like before, they halted once more at a measurement they couldn't do. The fraction they saw was a strange one. Too short for half size, they agree. How very absurd, not even one-third. What length could it possibly be? It's me, said a worm, slightly shorter. He looped off the leaf where he'd curled. My four steps per inch make one fourth a cinch. Now together we'll measure the world. Squirmy, wormy, hoppity hoop. We travel everywhere, loopity loop. No problems too big, no fractions too small. By adding new worms, we can measure it all. Have you ever measured anything before? Come along, I'll show you how. I hope you enjoyed that story about the inchworm. Let's try measuring together. So what you'll need is either some paper clips or Unifix cubes or a ruler to measure. And I'm going to show you how to use uh, all three tools for measuring. So let's start with the eraser. You can bring any objects that you have around the house or your toys or a book, anything you want to measure. I'm going to start with my daughter's eraser and I'm going to use my um, paper clips to measure. So let's see how many paper clips 
long the eraser is. So two paper clips long. All right, now let me try the paintbrush with the paper clips. What do you estimate? How many paper clips do you think it's going to take? All right, let's see. One. You want to make sure they touch two, that they're right next to each other. Three, and that they're the same size paper clips. Four. Five. A little over five and a half. It's kind of sticking out there. All right. So which one was longer? Was the paintbrush longer or the eraser? That's right. The paintbrush was longer. Which one's shorter? That's right. The eraser's shorter. All right, let's try the marker. And this time I'm going to use Unifix cubes. So one, two, three, four, five, and there's still a little hanging out, probably about five and a half. Yeah, about half of that one. So five and a half. And now let's use Unifix cubes to measure the rock. One, two, three, four, five. How many do you think it's going to be? If you said six, you would be correct. Six Unifix cubes. So let's bring the eraser and the paintbrush back. Which one is the longest out of these three? That's right, the paintbrush is the longest. Which one is the shortest? The eraser is the shortest. Very good. All right, now another tool, and a tool that mathematicians use, and a tool that you will eventually use after you practice with your paper clips and Unifix cubes, is a tool called a ruler. And what do you notice about the ruler? That's right, it has numbers along the top edge and little lines and longer, longer lines and medium length lines, right? And it starts from, well, this is zero and one and goes all the way to the number 18. Most rulers go up to 12, but this is an extra long ruler that I have that I really like to use. So I've got a little shrimp plastic toy and I want to see how long it is. So I'm going to put the zero right at the edge of the tail and I'm going to, I don't think I'm, well, should we, should we count how long it is with the tentacles? We'll do it both ways. So if you count how long the shrimp is along with its tentacles, it's about eight inches. You see that? If we count just from tail to the head, it comes right about six and a half inches right there. Let's use the ruler to measure our eraser. It's just a little bit over two inches. So each segment here from one number to the next is called an inch. So if you're measuring with a ruler, you would say the eraser is two inches. If you were measuring with the paper clips like we did earlier, we would say, that the eraser is two paper clips long. And if you're using the Unifix blocks, you would say the eraser is three Unifix cubes long. So now, 
gather about five or six objects around your house and use some tools to measure any objects that you have around the house. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.